Hey guys, welcome to Around the World. I'm Eric and in this video I'd like to show you around at the Tromsø Ice Domes here in Norway. Dress warm and let's go. Tromsø is a small city in the northern part of Norway. A beautiful place with one huge advantage for the ice domes. During winter time, it's tremendously cold here. When you enter the ice domes, you notice directly there's a wall. This is because on the other side of the wall, there's a bar. And in Norway, there's a law that says there should always be a wall between the bar and its entrance. And that's no different for an ice bar. Luckily, it doesn't say that it should be a brick wall, so an ice wall does the trick as well, while it perfectly matches the interior design here. So welcome at the ice bar, where you're welcomed with a local drink served in an ice glass. Here you can see beautiful ice sculptures of the local Sami people on their traditional reindeer sleds. So no, unfortunately this is not Santa if you thought so, though I do understand the confusion. You can also see a traditional Sami tent made of wood and reindeer skin. Samis didn't only use reindeer skin for their tents, but also for clothes and to sit and sleep on, as you can see here on the ice chairs or later when we reach the ice cinema or the ice hotel room. On the other side of the dome you see how dogs bring together a herd of reindeers. These herds can easily exist of several thousands of reindeers, so these energized dogs were a perfect tool to bring them together. Nowadays, also cameras or even drones are used to keep an eye on the widely spread reindeer herds. But still, especially with temperatures dropping below minus 40 degrees Celsius sometimes, the energy of a dog lasts way longer than a drone battery. After the welcome string kicked in and warmed you up enough, it's time to go to the next dome, the ice cinema. The ice cinema is a one-of-a-kind experience. While you sit comfortably on snow benches covered with, again, reindeer skin, the whole room lights up with images showing you how the ice domes were built. Because of the shape of the room, the sound perfectly reflects from one wall to another, which makes you feel like you're emerged in the movie. The movie shows how the ice domes were constructed by covering a huge air balloon with snow. After deflating the balloon, the snow was rock solid and the carving could start. The sculptures and carvings were made by world's best ice sculptures artists coming from China. With a team of seven, they worked 13 days non-stop to create the ice bar, ice cinema, ice restaurant and ice hotel room. On the sides of the cinema screen, you see the Norwegian Roald Amundsen and the British Robert Falcon Scott. They both try to be the first to reach the South Pole. The Norwegian team of Amundsen was very well experienced surviving in harsh and cold conditions. And although the team of Scott was very well trained as well, it was Amundsen who reached the South Pole first on December 14, 1911, just five weeks ahead of the British explorers. But things got worse. The team of Scott got caught in terrible snowstorms that caused a huge change of plans which they didn't have enough supplies for. The British team of Scott froze to death. He was still celebrated as a hero though, and both the names of Scott and Amundsen are given to the permanent scientific base at the pole, the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. Next up, the Ice Hotel. It might not look that appealing, a bed of ice, but Travel Duck and I can assure you, it definitely is. And no matter if it's minus 20 or even minus 40 degrees Celsius outside, in this dome, the thick wall of snow keeps the temperature to a constant and comfortable minus 5 degrees Celsius. The ice bed does have a real mattress that is covered by reindeer skin, which really warms you up. Reindeer skin insulates very well because of the hairs of a reindeer are hollow. This way the air within warms up which makes it great to sleep on. But no worries, a warm and comfortable sleeping bag is provided as well. Still you don't want to forget to put something on your feet when you step out of the bed. But other than that, it's totally comfortable to sleep here and without a doubt, a night to remember. Last but not least, let's go to the ice restaurant. Welcome at the ice restaurant. Here you can enjoy a tasteful warm drink or meal like hot chocolate with Baileys or reindeer stew. In the middle you see a huge sculpture of, well, what is it? A reindeer or a moose? It's hard to see, right? Well, let me help you a bit. It's a reindeer with a moose antler. 
Yep, when this sculpture was made, it was intended to be a reindeer, but then its antler would be too fragile. So they changed halfway and gave the reindeer a moose antler. Either way, it stays impressive. On the walls you see all kinds of animals that live in these northern regions in Norway, such as the reindeer, wolf, squirrel, brown bear, eagle, polar bear and lynx. On the other side you see another traditional way of transportation, the dog sleds. Behind the moose or reindeer you can see a huge sailing ship. This is the ship on which Amundsen sailed to the South Pole. And guess what kind of skins covers the ice chairs in this ice restaurant? That's right, again it's reindeer skin that prevents you from freezing to the seats. And don't worry in case it still does happen to you. One thing is for sure, you won't be stuck forever. The whole place melts down in summer and is rebuilt again every winter with new sculptures that tell new stories. If you want to know more about the Tromsø ice domes or you'd like to know when or where you can visit them next, you can find a link to their website in the description of this video. So that's it, I hope you liked the tour. Don't forget to leave a comment down below where you'd like to travel next and don't forget to subscribe for more 360 travel videos. For now, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you around and I'll have to warm myself up a bit. Cheers. Quack.